Hey, this is Dylan from the Ski Monster, and today we're going to go over how to fix a bow dial in lace. The most common reason why these laces break is when snowboarders are resting their feet on their back foot during the chairlift. The edge makes contact with the steel cable, starts to fray, and inevitably it's going to snap. Fortunately, that's an easy thing to fix. So first thing you want to do is remove the boa dial. Newer models, it's really easy. We're going to go clockwise, they come right off. Some of the older models will require pliers or a tool to get it off. If you're really having a hard time, some other older models require counterclockwise. But you simply just grab at the housing, rotate, disengage. Super easy. So first we're going to push to create the loop. Once that starts to come out, we're going to pull some cable through and we're going to push on the other side of the loop and you see that disengage. Now our cable's free. We're just going to pull that out and we're free. So the next step is we have to remove the lace from the housing. So we're going to pull this out. It's super easy. We're just going to keep pulling these through until the laces are all the way out. Super easy. The next step is we need to find out what length cable we need. On all the tongues of snowboard boots, there'll be a mark. In this case, we need a 140 centimeter cable, which is lace listed right here. Looks something like this. Boa's homepage, support site, we'll get these parts for you. So we're going to take our new lace and start feeding it through the system. Starting in the center is a good spot. So you just want to hit this eyelet right here. Pull this line until we get equal lengths. And begin feeding it through. There'll be a path to follow. Pretty straightforward. So that side's done. Just repeat the other side. And once you pull the final cable through both housings, we have a little bit of a different discrepancy in length. We're just going to fix that right now. We want them to be equal. Now we need to get the lace attached back to the bow dial. There's a longer hole inside and that's where we're going to begin. So we'll feed the cable through there. We pop out on the other side. Now we're going to take a U-turn and back through the hole right next to it. And then this is when we take that cable one more U-turn and back into the same hole we just came from. Looks something like this. Now you want to keep tension on this as you pull back and lock it out. Once that's done, pull back through and you're complete. So we have to do this to the other side as well. We're going to follow the same steps. Go through that longer hole. Come back through the one right next to it with that U-turn. And then one more back through, get it anchored, keep tension on the back side so when you pull it tight, it doesn't pop free. And once it's locked out, you're just going to feed it, pull it back through. Now that we have the cables attached back to the boa, we're going to eat that slack, get the boa dial to come back to the housing. So pull on the cables on the outside, line up the teeth. Once it's in there, you're going to click the boa in counterclockwise. And we are done. The last thing you need to do, coil this up, eat of all that extra slack. If it's spinning freely, you know you did it correctly. Final test, pop it free, and you have successfully repaired your boa dial and lace.